As we've spent a few weeks talking about Paul, we talked about how Paul met Jesus on the road to Damascus and how his life basically was turned upside down. He went from arresting believers and putting them in jail to actually being a believer himself and now telling other people about Jesus. Paul has been very busy traveling around to lots of different places. And the story we're going to talk about today, Paul finds himself in Athens. Now, think about your geography for a minute, boys and girls. Does anybody know where Athens is? What country is Athens in? Starts with a G. Ask mom and dad if you don't know, have them show you on a map, but it's actually in the country of Greece. And while Paul was walking around Athens, just kind of getting to know the lay of the land, he noticed that everywhere he looked, there were statues. And these statues were actually, they considered them their gods, false gods. And as he was walking around, he noticed a particular statue that said, to an unknown God. He kind of filed that away and remembered it. There were also a group of people in Athens that really they spent most of their day thinking. And they, were, they liked learning about new things and new concepts and new philosophies. And so they heard rumors about Paul talking about this man named Jesus. And they were very curious about it. So they decided to meet with Paul. And Paul started the conversation with them by saying, I can tell you're very religious people. I've seen all of your statues, and I've seen your statue to the unknown God. And this was one thing that Paul said to them, and it's found in Acts chapter 17, verse 24. The God who made the world and all things in it, since he is the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands. Paul continued to tell them about God. He continued to tell them that he is alive, that he is real, that he is not a, a statue that is just sitting around in their city. And Paul continued to tell them about Jesus. He told them how Jesus uh, was God's son, how he came to the earth, he lived, he died on the cross to take away their sins. He was buried and how he rose again three days later. And Paul was able to speak with such confidence because he knew that he had Jesus and he knew that these men needed Jesus. Paul understood the importance of telling other people about Jesus. And you know what, boys and girls? We get to do that same thing. We get to tell people that we meet about Jesus too, just like Paul did. So let's stop and thank Jesus today for that. Jesus, we thank you for the people in the Bible who had such courage, Lord, to tell people about you. Tell people that um, talked different, looked different, acted different, Lord, but that you gave Paul the courage to, to tell them about you and your love. Father, I pray that the people we meet this week will see your love through us, that we will be able to tell them about Jesus and how much Jesus loves them. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending Jesus uh, to be on the earth so, so that we could have a relationship with you. Father, give us courage this week to speak about you. Father, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen.